Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It is 7.50 and time now to talk business. And for that, we turn to our business editor, Mike Apple. Happy Friday, sir. Thank you. Happy Friday the 13th. Yes. I would love to get into the history of that, but we are tight on time this morning. And the markets, they're confusing. They're up, they're down, they're up, they're down. What's happening yep. today? It's about uh, the trade issues uh, again, Sarah. As uh, yesterday, it was all about, yep, they've got a deal. Huzzah. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. And uh, we saw the Wall Street benchmarks hit record highs. Yeah. Things look good overnight. We had the results of the British election. Uh, paving the way for Brexit to finally be completed early next year. Right. Boris Johnson's got a solid majority. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not whether you think Brexit, the split between the UK and the Eurozone is a good thing or a bad thing. It's just about resolution. That thing has been going on since uh, the referendum in 2016. And it's just been, oh, they're going to do it. No, they're not. Yeah, they're going to do it. No, they don't. So we, that looks like it's going to be put to the, uh, the side early next year. But getting back to the US-China trade issues, uh, the talk was they had a tentative first phase agreement. There was all sorts of uh, indication out of that from the White House yesterday afternoon. Markets go up. Uh, about an hour ago, Trump tweeted and said uh, something about a Wall Street Journal story that he disagreed with mm. on the trade. And, and the Chinese, Beijing has yet to comment. Okay. And until we get confirmation there, it's anyone's guess. So the markets have been reacting as they will, like this, right. up and down and all around. Right now, mixed. Was the tweet in all caps? No, it actually wasn't. There were, were, were no okay. all cap issues with this one. So that's why you weren't shouting at me. Uh, no, I so was not. let's talk oil prices. They're yes. up. So, what does rising oil prices mean for the industry? Well, they hit a three month high at $60 a barrel on the U.S. quote early this morning. Cooled off a little bit now. Again, it's related to trade. If you get resolution on U.S. China trade, you get rid of the tariffs, you get the global economy going. That improves the prospects for world demand for oil, mm. and it should filter through to the Canadian market. Again, got to get the official thumbs up to make sure that actually happens. Okay, and before I let you go, let's talk about cannabis, but yep. in Ontario specifically. Yeah, the uh, Ontario government announcing uh, that they are going to move forward with uh, just opening the doors to retail uh, pot shops. Currently, it's under a lottery system because they said there wasn't enough supply to feed the ones that are in business, so they were kind of a, doing a slow rollout. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it's going to be the well, Wild West, for lack of a better description, uh, next year on uh, if you want to open a, a, a cannabis retail location, you get a license and, and open it up. The big question here will be, uh, what's, the, what's the market demand? You know, it, it, it's fine to, you know, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of companies or people getting into the business and, and subsequently maybe being oversaturated with supply. We'll see. Again, um, you know, we saw that with the pot stocks themselves. They went way up because everybody mm -hmm. thought it's going to be the next thing. And then they pff, well, crashed and, perfect, and burned. A perfect example is here in Alberta. We've got a store mm -hmm. on nearly every, four, uh, every corner. You said we've got mm -hmm. over 400 in one province. Something like that. Yeah, I was like, I saw that number and I'm like, really? Wow. So, again, early days. It's, it's, it'll, it'll figure out its, its equilibrium, so to speak. Okay. Uh, listen, have a fantastic weekend. Happy Thank Friday you. the 13th. Are you superstitious? <laughs> no. Well, when I played hockey, I, a little bit. But <laughs> it didn't help. <laughs> you make your own luck, my friend. That's exactly correct. I'll see you on Monday. It is 7.54 now. Let's take a look at the markets. This portion of BT is brought to you by 660 News, Calgary's breaking news, weather, and traffic station.